Paul and Gannett here from Woodwork Web. Today I want to talk about measuring devices. I've got a couple of topics today. The first one is tape measures. Now we're all familiar with tape measures. We have probably rooms full of them. But today I'm going to show you something that you may not know. Now, most tape measures that are available in the marketplace today are actually made for left-handed people. So if you're one of the 85% of the population of the world that happens to be right-handed, you probably need to be looking for a different tape measure. Let me show you. Probably most of the tape measures that you're used to using are, you typically uh, pick them up and when you look at them, when you hold them in your right hand, all the numbers you can see. But when you're measuring stuff, when you're working in the workshop, the very first thing you do is pick up a pencil in your right hand if you're right-handed, which means you then pick up a tape measure in your left hand. And when you put the tape over top of the material that you're going to be measuring, lo and behold, all of the numbers are upside down. Now, doesn't that sound familiar? And we've even made sayings, measure twice, cut once. Well, we do that because all the numbers are upside down in all the tapes. Wouldn't it be great if we had a tape where the numbers were the right side up for those of us who are right-handed? Well, lo and behold, there is. I discovered this tape a couple of years ago. It's called a left-handed tape because when you hold it in your left hand and you have your pencil in your right hand, look at the numbers. The numbers are the right way up, which means when you're measuring a board, you can actually hold the, finger, hold the pencil in your right hand and measure the board. And I'll show you. Okay. Here we are on a bench top, and here we are holding the tape. This is the old style tape. This is a right-handed tape. Here we are holding it in our right hand, or sorry, our left hand, and going to measure board. Look at that. See that? All the numbers are upside down. When we get a left-handed tape and measure a board, look at that. All the numbers are the right way up. You don't have to guess where to mark your piece of wood. And you're holding your pencil in your right hand, which is normal. There are tapes that are the best of both. There are tapes available that have right and, therefore left and right-handed. They have numbers both ways. I opted to get the tape that is just for the left hand because I didn't want too many numbers confusing what I was doing on there. I don't want to be cutting any wood wrong so I opted for that. But the next best thing is if you can't find just the left handed is to pick up a tape that is left and right handed then it doesn't matter whether you're left or right handed or what you're marking the board with. You can look at a pair of numbers or a set of numbers on your tape that are the right way up. You don't have to measure twice, cut once. You can measure once and cut once. Now when you're a woodworker you know that the world of woodworking is also filled with the world of angles and very often you're dealing with angles more than just simple 45 degree angles and you need to cut wood accurately. How do you do that? Well there's a couple of things that you can do. One of the ways, of course, to find an angle is to get a little geometry set with a little uh, angle finder device like that. Now, some of you have also seen, and maybe some of you have, the little, the little box thing that you can, has a little magnet and you can stick on the side of, of your uh, saw blades, and then when you tilt the saw blade, it tells you what angle the saw blade is at. Well, I had one of those, and Unfortunately, it didn't work for me. I ended up sending it back because what I discovered is my floor has some, my concrete floor has some 
minor dips and bumps in it and I'm constantly moving tools around some of them are even on wheels so having an absolutely flat base is critical for the little box affairs so I really couldn't use it because I, I couldn't take the time all of the time to make sure that the table was absolutely flat in order just to find the degree of the blade but I did find something that does work unbelievably well it's a digital protractor and this is what the device looks like there's a few different ones on the market this one as soon as you open it it automatically the it automatically turns itself on and you can zero it at a number of different angles you can zero it when it's at this angle and there's a little button here to zero it or you can put it to exactly 90 degrees and actually put a, a, a square on there and you can zero it at 90 degrees now that's really helpful when you need to cut for example a 12 and a half degree which is fairly common angle to be cutting in woodworking and you want to cut a 12 and a 12 and a half degree from 90 and that means it's really easy to set up your table saw let me show you make it absolutely even on both sides and then just zero there it is we've just zeroed that digital device so it's on zero right now and what we want to do is we want to cut a 12 and a half degree angle on a table saw so all we have to do is by hand just move that down and you can see those numbers moving and we move that to we've gone a little past there let's go back to 12 there we here 12 point there's 12.6 degrees now watch how easy it is to set our table saw at 12.6 or in this case 12.5 degrees okay there's the digital protractor set at okay there's the there's the digital protractor set at 12.5 degrees now watch how easy it is for us to set our table saw blade to that angle look at that perfect perfect angle a perfect 12.5 degrees this little protractor is unbelievably accurate if you want to measure if you need to know the angle of anything it will tell you this is actually 44.5 degrees it's not actually 45 degrees it's a half degree out but if you want to check your other tools to see if they're at the angles that they should be your your squares with 45 degree angles on them um, true it to zero with a square that you know is true and just go from here this is a great little tool a big time saver um, think about one of these for your workshop and that's it for measuring devices for today I'm Colin Kinnett from Woodwork Web thanks for watching